Hello and welcome to episode two of my 2024 spring cleaning playlist. This video is going to be my home appliances and what that consists of for me are these two filthy, nasty, dirty, disgusting vacuum cleaners. Um, I'm also going to hit my washer and dryer, my oven, and my refrigerator as well. So if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I've got Bodhi and it just, there's something with dog dander and dirt and hair. It's just disgusting, okay? So this is my main vacuum. I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of it, show you all the nasty good stuff. These are the little filters that come in here. Now, normally I will buy these off of Amazon for replacements, but I just completely forgot to do that um, in time for this video. So honestly, I will show you what I do with these. I'm just going to wash them with some Dawn dish soap and they're going to be perfectly fine. Um, but I really desperately needed to do these vacuum cleaners. As you can see, they were nasty. And once you get your vacuum cleaners really clean and, you know, sanitized, when you vacuum, it just makes so much of a difference. So what I'm going to do is take these filters in here. I'm going to use a little bit of this Dawn dish soap. I'm going to work up a really good lather, get all of this dust and dirt out of them. And then you probably should like set these in the sun or in the windowsill or something like that. But I don't do that. I rinse them out very well and I get as much water out as I can. And then I toss them in the dryer for a few minutes and they are perfectly fine. It's not going to mess them up. You can actually probably just throw them in your washer with a load of towels and they would be fine that way too. I don't suggest to do this all the time. Um, go ahead and get you a couple new ones if you can. They're very inexpensive on Amazon. That way it just doesn't break down the material, you know. I mean, you can even do it a few times, but after that you probably need to go ahead and get yourself a new one. And if you are new here, um, I'm not a professional. This is just how I do things at my house. Everybody does everything differently. And the point of my video is to just give you motivation and give you some ideas of things that maybe you don't think about cleaning or if it's been a while and it's just a reminder or if you're cleaning something completely different and you just need you know, a little bit of motivation or somebody to talk to while you're doing it. That's my whole point here. <laughs> so I'm also, I know that you guys are probably yelling at me on the other side of the screen not to do this in my kitchen sink, but again, this is just how I do it and everything turns out just fine. So I just sprayed some cleaner on these little parts here. Make sure that if you do this, that none of these parts have any electrical pieces to them or any wiring housing or anything like that because you don't want to mess your vacuum cleaners up. So I uh, got all of them washed out and rinsed and they look and smell so much better. I will say that my little robot vacuum, I've already cleaned that out last week because I used it a couple times and it just wasn't doing what it needed to. And um, I flipped that little joker over and guess what was stuck up in that roller? Mm-hmm, your girl's underwears. So it must have made its way into my bedroom at some point and grabbed uh, a pair of underwear. So I went ahead and took that out and I took that little thing apart and cleaned it. I didn't film it, but it got cleaned as well. These are my three main vacuums that I use and they really, really needed this. I cannot wait to use this big vacuum again because I know it's just gonna run so much extremely better. This got me thinking though, do you guys remember like the bag vacuums? I remember my mom having those. Actually, even when I first moved out, I think I had a couple vacuums that had bags in them. Oh, talk about a pain in the rear end to change those bags out. Have you guys ever had one like explode on you? Whew, lordy be, it was awful. And I mean all full, but thankfully we don't have all of that mess to deal with anymore. These little pieces and parts just come apart so nicely. And a lot of the vacuums nowadays just have little arrows on them or like literal instructions on how to take them apart right on top of the vacuum cleaner, which is great. This inside cover, oh, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I think what has happened what had happened was i think at some point i have ran this vacuum cleaner like in the kitchen and there was probably water drops everywhere from where Bodie like drinks this water and makes a huge mess and then i vacuumed up some of that water and then it just crustified all of this nasty dirt and stuff that was in here i think that's what happens i really do need to be more mindful of where I run my vacuum cleaners but for right now we're just going to go ahead and make sure that this gets cleaned. Now I knew that this little bottom 
roller came off, but for the life of me, I couldn't remember how to. And the big roller in the middle, I could not get that out. And I knew that if I could get that out, that I could get it a lot cleaner. But we got it. I got all of this hair out from the bottom. Like, I didn't even think about looking under there like that, y'all. Like, I didn't. Look at, like, still. It's just, it's everywhere. It's just everywhere. And I, mm. If y'all haven't cleaned your vacuums in a while, please go and do so because this was disgusting. This could have been just a whole video in itself, just the vacuum cleaners. <laughs> um, but I did want to tell you too, I have, I do apologize for it being, what, like two weeks since I've uploaded a video, but I've had some stuff going on um, and nothing bad, just real busy, you know, in life just real busy. I've also got some Easter stuff and I wanted to know if you would like to see a video on um, Easter baskets. I know a lot of people are doing them now, but this is like my first Easter basket for a grandchild. I don't know if there's like a network or an audience out there for that. Um, if you want to see something like that, let me know and I will definitely do that. Now look at that, even up underneath that little one. Ugh. Buddy's just sitting there looking like he don't know what's going on. It's all his fault that I'm even having to do this to begin with. But anyway, we'll just go ahead and let that slide. But yeah, I I think that we are going to do like a little Easter egg hunt over at my mom's house. Brayden is not going to be able to come in for Easter, but we will have Mila. And then Carlene is going to bring Ava and Caden. And I'm excited. I'm so excited. Like, we haven't been able to do Easter eggs or anything like this in a while. I take that back. I made Logan and Brayden do it last year. <laughs> I did. They had fun. Don't let them tell you otherwise. But look, ugh. Oh, it's so gross. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. Uh, we'll be doing a couple little baskets for Ava and Caden as well. So if I do that video, I will have to put a little disclaimer on there so they don't watch it. But we got the vacuums done. While I'm waiting for all the parts to dry, I'm going to go ahead and hit this laundry area. And while I'm doing the laundry, um, you know, the washer and the dryer, I may as well go ahead and do those shelves up there, get those cleaned out and just straightened back up. You guys know how nasty these things can get. All the little nooks and crannies are just gross. I've brought you guys along with me before on getting this thing clean. It's really not that bad. It's just the little nooks and crannies, you know, like I didn't need to... What is that little thing that everybody takes out and like empties all the water and things like that? I didn't have to do that. Um, thank God I didn't have to do that because it was, you know, pretty good. But I wanted to get all these pieces out. You know, the back of this thing, this little tray always gets that mold on it right there. I don't know what that is, but science, am I right? Um, another thing is I did not do my dishwasher because... Just for you know what, I went ahead and pulled that whole middle thing out of it before I even started to film just to kind of see what I was looking at. It was clean as a whistle, okay? So I wasn't going to just take up a whole bunch of time in this video just to clean a clean dishwasher. I wasn't going to do that. But that's another thing on your list that you can add to your home appliances for spring cleaning if you haven't already. Another one of my favorite tips and tricks for cleaning little areas. You guys know I love my toothbrushes. Also... Just grab a Q-tip and get in these little holes and get everything clean. It was just like, I don't even know what that is. Okay, so this is what that reminded me of. It was like an orangey pink color that was gathered up in that little hole right there. But it reminded me of like soap scum that you get in your bathroom. And sometimes, <laughs> I mean, as old as I am and as long as I've been cleaning, it still shocks me. I'm like, I don't have pink soap. Why is this in here? And I'm like, oh, it's like soap scum residue or what I don't know if y'all know why it's pink please tell me and please don't please tell me I'm not the only one that sees this okay it's pink <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it um but while I have those little pieces drying I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the inside of the washer and the lid and all that stuff and also use some of those q-tips to get back in these little hinges to get that stuff cleaned out it was just gross there was hair dirt dust um, I found a button and stickers like from clothes. It was just nasty. So we went ahead and got this wiped down. I don't know what it is, but something about coming to do your laundry when the washer and dryer is clean is just elite. Like I love that so much. I don't know why it just makes me happy, but I got all of the nasty stuff out of the washer and then I went ahead and moved on over to the dryer. The dryer wasn't that bad, just dusty and I needed to wipe it off and then I cleaned out where the lint trap 
filter type thing is. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, maybe I should get one of those. You know how you can buy like those little extender things with a little whirly bird on the end of it and you can stick it in your dryer vent outside and you can clean it out. I thought about doing that and I was like, well, there's companies that do that and they probably charge you like, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars, right? Which it would be worth it because you don't want to set your house on fire. But then I was like, I got other things to do with $200. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get on Lowe's website and see if they sell them. Well, sure enough, they do. And they're only like 12 bucks. And it comes like as a little kit. And then you just attach it to the end of your drill and then use it that way. Um, so my little trap, my little filter right here was not that bad. So I went ahead and got that cleaned. Now you see it. And uh, now you don't. So I got that cleaned and then I got that little brush in there, tried to get as much of this stuff out as I could. Okay, so back to the whirly bird. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll go ahead and buy that online and then I'll just go and pick it up, right? So that way I can go home and I can clean up my thing. And then I got to thinking about it. The back of my dryer backs up to the wall, obviously, but that's an outside wall. So there's literally not even a foot between the back of my dryer and the exit door to the lint house outside. Does that make sense? <laughs> you know that little flap door on the outside of your house where the lint comes? Okay. So the dryer exhaust, whatever. So I didn't even need anything like that. You know what I mean? So I just didn't spend that money. And it's good. It's fine. We're good. We're, we're good. Um, so now that the washer and dryer is cleaned, I went ahead and got some of that stuff up off of those shelves. Anything that I really don't grab for and use, I just went ahead and put in those baskets. I absolutely love those baskets. When I redid this bathroom here, bathroom, my word. When I redid the laundry room or laundry area, um, I bought those, I'm pretty positive, at Marshall's. They are so nice. I love them so much. So I just put everything up there that I really wasn't using and I went ahead and put the rest of that bag of detergent in that jar. That way I could just get rid of some clutter and things like that. Um, if you guys have never seen this little laundry makeover video here, it was so much fun. I will add that to the little cards up in the right hand corner of this video. There should be like a little eye up in the corner. Just click that and it'll have cards of videos for you guys. I'll also add the first 2024 spring clean video to this and that was the living room we got that living room cleaned up really well you can go back and watch that this is all going to be on a 2024 spring clean playlist so you can go back and look at that and the washer and dryer looks so much better look at there we got all that gunk out yay for me so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the oven the oven was not bad at all and i give that credit to these little mats here that i got off of timu all i had to do was just pull those out and rinse them off and then just like a really quick wipe down of the bottom of the oven and then i went ahead and cleaned the door i did have to get my scraper out for that because there was just a couple little stubborn spots but it didn't take long at all Another thing that I'm really excited to tell you guys about is I'm in the middle, I'm like halfway through of this small bathroom mini makeover, however you want to call it. So I'm, I've done like a little spring clean in there and then I'm doing just like a little revamp. I know I've told you guys a couple, couple little things that I was doing in there, but I'm literally just waiting on two things to come in so that I can finish it up. And then also, and now imagine this, okay? Imagine Reuben being wrong about something, all right? So when I had thought about this, I was like, okay, I need to paint this bathroom. I need to sand all these holes that we've been staring at for four years in there. Um, and I had it in my mind that I wanted to do that back wall in a color. But then I was like, no, because what if in two, three years we would decide to sell this house? Because if I was going to do color, it was going to be color, okay? It was going to be dark. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I will use, you know, decor for that. You feel me? So I was like, okay, we'll do this as budget-friendly as humanly possible. So we had not too long ago painted the kitchen, living room, and things like that in the hallway. And I was like, that's just white, so I'll just go ahead and use that and then it'll save me some money, right? So I asked Ruben, I said, hey, do we have any of that paint left 
from before. And he's like, yeah, we've got like an entire gallon left of the white paint. Um, that's more than enough for you to do that bathroom. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I was like, do we have rollers, brushes, and everything like that? He goes, I'm not really quite sure about that. So you may as well play it safe and go buy that stuff. I'm like, all right. So I went and I bought new rollers, brushes, pans, all that good stuff. I come home and I start to go ahead and, you know, prep the bathroom, get everything clean, get everything out. And then I go to paint. I go to grab the paint. We had maybe a seventh of a gallon of that wall paint. What he was thinking was we had a gallon of the trim and sealing paint. Oh my God. Guess what else I found? Brushes, rollers, and paint pans after I'd unbought it. Anyway, so I just went ahead and got as much as I could with what paint I had left, all right? And had to go buy another gallon. But um, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. It just, it needed to be done so bad. And it's going to be so cute. I just can't wait for you guys to see it. So obviously right now, I went ahead and decided to tackle this refrigerator. It wasn't bad. I decided not to take out all the shelves and the little cubbies and clean them in the sink. Because again, this refrigerator blew my mind. It was not really dirty whatsoever. So I just took everything out. It gave me an opportunity to go through some food and make sure that anything I needed to get out of there and throw away, I could do that. I think I got one whole trash bag full of stuff that I needed to throw out. And again, no, I'm not going to save that stuff and take it somewhere because it's out of date and it's halfway used and it's my money. So we're throwing it away. Also, I had to do this in sections because... <laughs> My counter space is not big enough for me to clear out my entire refrigerator without something falling in the floor. So I just did it by sections and it worked perfectly fine. Also, I realized that when I was cleaning out these little drawers down here, we had so much cheese, like so much cheese. And honestly, I only threw away like one little block, one little half block had mold on it. Everything else was good. Reuben and I go to the uh, grocery store separately sometimes, or most of the time really, and we'll just buy like basics for the house, and we both end up buying the same thing. So we had so much cheese, <laughs> so much cheese. Um, so we're going to have to get rid of some, not, you know, get rid of it, but use it up so it doesn't go bad. I'm like, seriously, there was so much cheese. We're going to have to like tie a board to our ass to keep the rats out. Okay. That's how much cheese we got. So I got all of these little drawers cleaned out and everything put back in it. Um, it just looks better. It's, it, I don't know. I'm not going to blame this on anybody because we all do it. We'll just open up these drawers, use what we need to, and then just throw it back in there and be done with it. Right. But this really needed to be done. And I got rid of quite a bit of stuff, which it doesn't look like it, but I honestly did. The freezer is what I was really afraid of. And the freezer was the least of my worries. Like it wasn't bad at all. Um, I've been told when I got this refrigerator, I had a couple people that were like, oh no, a bottom freezer. Those are the worst because it, the stuff goes so far back and you forget that you have it, that stuff gets old or, you know, you buy duplicates of things. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I do do that. And um, it doesn't matter if it's a bottom freezer, top freezer, side freezer, behind freezer. I'm going to buy stuff and not eat it. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. I know I'm not the only one in the universe that does this, but I got it cleaned out, okay? There was some Tupperware in there that needed to be handled. We handled that. We got all of that stuff in the dishwasher so it could be running and cleaned. I'm just, I'm just kicking along here, you guys, with the spring cleaning. I just apologize. It took so long for me to get the second video out. I really do, but you know, life is life. Um, so I had the living room done and I'm doing the appliances in this one. The next one, fingers crossed, will be the bathroom. And then I'm going to do probably a kitchen one and a bedroom deep clean. That one really needs to be done. I had I uh, dropped my phone cord behind my bedside table the other night and I had to reach back there and get it and oh my word the dust that is behind my bed and my side table is something to talk about okay it is something to talk about 
Uh, speaking of talking, I wanted to give you guys a little update on Miss Thing. Little Miss Myla is four months old now. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I do most of my updates and pictures and things like that of her over there. I just didn't want to bombard this channel with that. Not that I'm not proud of her and not that I don't think that y'all would enjoy it, but you know how YouTube is. It's just funky that way. Um, so yeah, she's doing great. She's beautiful as always and she's growing like a weed and I swear to you she's teething. Um, again, she's only four months old, but she is honestly all day, every day, 24-7 smiling, laughing, in a good mood. She's not a fussy baby. She's such a good baby. But when I had her last weekend, she was not that baby. She Now, she wasn't being bad. She just wouldn't nap, and she just kind of, you know, moaned and, not moaned, but just, you know, little fussy cries, and nothing would make her happy. And she did nothing but drool the entire time. She now knows where her feet are and they go directly in her mouth anytime she has a chance to do that. Um, but yeah, I think she's teething. She's just chugging along and um, I just love her so much. She's just the sweetest thing. So yeah, I just wanted to give you an update on her and everything else is really good. You know, work is busy. Um, Bodie's Bodie. Reuben is good. And yeah. I'm just, I'm excited for Easter. I hate that I won't be able to see Brayden, but I know he's got work and things like that, and I don't want to make him feel bad for not coming. So, yeah, we're going to have a good time, and I might film that for the vlog channel. I gotta, I gotta get myself back on track, you guys. I really do. But uh, I got the outside of the refrigerator wiped down, and then all of my little pieces were dry and clean, and I decided to get all of that stuff put back together, and into my vacuums and I I do this every time I forget which which piece goes with which vacuum and which filter goes with which but I got it all figured out you know just give me a minute and I'll get her done and I did but that is all that I got uh, for my appliance spring cleaning for 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some motivation and ideas to get some things done at your house today. Again, I appreciate you guys so much for coming to spend time with me. It means more than you will ever know. Subscribe if you're not already and make sure to give this video a thumbs up.